Hi, everyone. I'm Frank Malacuta. I work for KTVU Fox 2 in the San Francisco Bay Area. My guest is the CEO of Echo Worldwide Transportation Group. It's based out of San Jose, but they provide chauffeur transportation in over a thousand cities worldwide, and they have certainly been hit hard, like most of us, by COVID-19. Let's say hi to Harry Dillon. Harry, good to have you. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm great. Hi, everybody. Nice to have you. Tell us, uh, just tell us about Echo Transportation Group out of the gate so we, uh, we're familiar with it. Yeah, I'm going to keep it brief. Uh, Echo Transportation, I founded it back in 2009. Uh, uh, and uh, now as a company, we are almost uh, 30, 30 vehicle co company providing services uh, around 700 cities around the globe. And um, that's, that's basically describes our company, uh, uh, catering towards C-level executives mostly high-end C-level executives is what we do. And this all got started in the Silicon Valley, I would imagine, right? Uh, executive right here, right here. San Jose SFO? That's correct, that's correct. San Jose Airport, right, I, I'm, I'm uh, in San Jose since uh, 1999, and this is where I started. Very good, well, um, we were talking off camera, but obviously your business has been harder than most, hit harder than most. Tell us, Tell us what it's been like the last five months. It's it's uh, it's a surprise uh, uh, coming to us all of a sudden. Things were going very good in January and February, and then um, starting March 20th, mid mid March, uh, when travel when transportation uh, got limited uh, with restrictions and all that stuff, we uh, we got very hit very hard. Our business is down 98 percent uh, from what we were doing uh, back in January, and and from last five months, we haven't seen any improvement. I mean, they're down to zero. And I would imagine with folks working at home, um, you cater to people coming in and out of airports. Um, that's all part of it, right? That's very, that's correct. And people are well, scared. It's, it's a very sick, scary situation uh, 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 being where we are right now with this pandemic. And it's, it's, uh, that's why I'm here and I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the industry to tell the people that we as a limousine industry are, are doing a lot of things to make sure that when you travel with us, it's, it's safe and you feel comfortable. And, and uh, we would like to take your support and, and encourage you to, to when, when the guidelines are, are a little uh, easier on us, we encourage you to uh, start traveling. Sure. And, and the measures that we are taking is, make, is we're going to make sure that your, your travel is very safe as the airlines and other industries are doing. Well, tell us, what are you doing uh, with your drivers? Let's start with them and then talk about what, uh, what passengers can expect too. So, so from, from employees, so we have office employees the, uh, that, that when, when they start, we may basically monitor their uh, temperature. We follow CDC guidelines that, that are in place, making sure our, our office uh, uh, is infect, disinfected the, regularly the way it's supposed, supposed to be. And as a, as a, as an, Industry Association, which is great. We have a Greater California Livery Association that represent California operators. Uh, we have our own guidelines based on based on what CDC and, and then as an industry, we, we need uh, for chauffeurs, we are requiring everybody to wear mask. Uh, and, and clients are, are, are recommended to wear mask if they, if they feel comfortable. If not, if we are leaving them as optional, but chauffeurs do not have an option, uh, option as that. We do have uh, uh, we uh, every after every ride we we spend at least forty five minutes to an hour to make sure that every uh, every place that can be virtually touched by client is disinfected with with uh, with the Lysol, Clorox, we all the CDC approved uh, chemicals that are in place uh, using uh, uh, disposable garbage bags in the vehicles after so it's not it's not there stored uh, driver. So recycling, and we have recyclable uh, gloves that we provide to them. PPE uh, 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 equipment is there with them uh, to make sure that that as much we sometimes also uh, transport uh, medical people. That's where that's where we have that PPE, uh, the the proper uh, the whole coverage that the chauffeur can wear while doing that trip, and they recycle it right after it. So there's. Uh, that precaution we are taking. Some of our vehicles come with sneeze guard. We we leave that as an option for the client. If you prefer that there is a sneeze guard in between you and the driver, along with all other measures that we are doing, we 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 have those for your services as well. Yeah, but down you're down what ninety five to ninety eight percent. That's the that's where that's what I was going to say actually. Uh, by uh, after doing all this spending 
so much uh, uh, energy and money and, and effort into it. We do not have the volume. We do not, we do, we are not able to bring the client to the door where we can at least show them this is what we are doing. We are sending newsletters. We are doing all we can, but, but there's, we, we suffering to bring them, uh, to have them travel. And for obvious reasons, I mean, this is not the safe environment to go out and, 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 and do what we've been doing for the rest of our life before the coronavirus hit us. Convince our viewers why they should be taking your service now. Cabs to lifts. Let's just talk about transportation in particular. I mean, a lot of folks are afraid to get on a plane, certainly a bus, BART, Caltrain, uh, and of course, you're part of that limousine services and town cars. Um, why should they do it? So we, at, we here at Echo Transportation, I have, as, we, as, as a CEO of the company, what I have done is break, uh, broke down to the bare minimum, where to the zero, what, what causes it, what can we do to avoid it. I have start, done some research with uh, reading about it here. Uh, and, and we have come down the cleanest, the cleaner we can be. The, the, the more clean, clean we can keep everything around us and keep a social distance, recommended six feet, but whatever we can at, as many times throughout the day is better it is. To do that is what we do is making sure, we assure you that when you sit in our vehicle, we make sure that it's, it's, it's the cleanest you can ever get to. It will be as clean as you're keeping your surroundings, your home, to avoid this disease getting to you. This, we, we're going an extra step and making sure we, that you are getting the same kind of uh, customer service experience when you're the cleanliness and and all the guidelines that are there in place. Have you had to lay off a lot of people? Yes, uh, I would say it. One hundred percent of our employ uh, driver staff is uh, is unemployed. We have few on call chauffeurs uh, that takes turns. We we, uh, we hardly have any trips. Two to two to three trips a day. It requires not even a road a driver. So I would say 90% 90, 90 of our staff is unemployed. Wow. And what a, I know you uh, provide uh, chauffeur service to, what, almost 1,000 cities? How about in other parts of the United States and, right. and abroad? So it's all starts, see, it's all starts from, where, from where our client leaving from our base city, which is San Francisco. This is our heart. So when you are not leaving your home, how can I service you? Where you where are you heading to? And vice versa goes for our clients that come from other countries to visit San Francisco, or from other cities. Nobody's traveling, so it's, so it's all uh, uh, as as a as a as a whole. It's all, throughout the globe. All these transportation services has came to a halt, and and there is not much going on at all. Well, what lies ahead? How how um, well outside of Hope, this thing, and what lies ahead? I, what I believe is what started, it will end for sure. So this, is, I think we have gone through the hardest time and it's about to come to an end. Russia has announced a vaccine. I'm sure Mr. Trump is coming right but, but come with it. And once that vaccine has been uh, there, I think people will have more comfortable. Every industry that, that has been affected is doing their best. So I think combinedly and jointly together, we will be able to get over it. And soon we'll see the light that we, we were looking for at the end of the tunnel. Well, that kind of lays into my, my last question here. Are you hopeful that we're going to get there? I mean, very hopeful. You're, you're down 95%. That's, I mean, that's tough. I mean, that down, I would say it's not down. It's just, it's just a tap that has been closed. So the water is not flowing because the tap is closed. And our pipeline is clean. All we need is that tap to open. And I know that 95% won't take much of a time to get back. We are very hopeful. So and as an industry, we're doing our best and we will come through. So once that tap does open, are you, will you guys be solvent again? You haven't had to get rid of cars and that kind of thing. Uh, just, just, uh, you know? And just like any other industry, there will be a lot, a lot of damage that will happen. But I think the, the stronger ones will do survive. All right. Well, we wish you all the best. If people want to get in touch yeah. or maybe they want to uh, use your services, how do they do it? So they can just call us, our, I'll give our toll free number 877-359-3256 and our local number 408-526-1234. And you can always visit our website, echolemo.com, E-C-K-O-Lemo.com and book a reservation online. All right, well, we wish you nothing but the best. Uh, hang in there, I guess Thank is you. the word. Thank you so much, Frank, for your time and for, the, for talking to me about our industry. Okay.
Well, he is uh, Harry Dillon. He's the CEO of uh, ECHO Worldwide Transportation Group based out of San Jose. And uh, they service over a thousand cities worldwide and uh, like most have been hit hard with the pandemic. Harry, thank you. I'm Frank Malika with KTVU Fox 2 here in the San Francisco Bay Area.